Hi, I'm Marlana, and today we're talking about music. Music enhances all areas of your young child's development. Dancing, marching, rhyming, singing, it's all good. And before you say, but I can't sing, let me assure you, your young child won't care. So, from one wobbly singer to another, trust me, it's worth it. First of all, music is fun. Silly songs capture the imagination and they bring on giggle fits. And do you remember the itsy bitsy spider tumbling down his water spout? How about head, shoulders, knees, and toes going faster each time you sing it? And have you tried the freeze dance? I assure you, your older toddler will love it. Music invites movement and shared social connections, creativity, and a joyful sense of self-expression. Happy children are learning children. And if you still aren't comfortable singing, you could use chants to teach rhythm and movement. Um, and remember, many children's songs are written to one of about five tunes that everybody already knows. So sing those songs and feel free to improvise. When my boys were little, I made up a song to teach them their phone number in case they got lost. Music has a rhythm, a beat. Musical rhythms repeat and those beats help your child remember, recognize and anticipate and participate in all kinds of familiar nursery rhymes, songs, and storybooks. There's a great rhythm to brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? And that sense of patterns will help your child with speech and language development. It helps them hear the sounds that make up words for reading when they're older. It also helps with math and counting and memory. Dancing will strengthen the large muscles in your child's body and singing will help them develop the muscles in their mouth and their lips and their tongue and their diaphragm so they can practice breath control and making sounds of all kinds. So sing the alphabet song and teach them nursery rhymes. You can clap, stomp, and march. Listen to recorded music. Share your favorite songs and let them hear a rich variety of different sounds, different instruments, different voices, a whole range of different tempos and styles. Let them make their own music. They can bang on pots and pans. You can find something that would make rhythm sticks or something to shake. One of my favorite online resources for caregivers is Jbrary. That's J-B-R-A-R-Y. It's a library of great songs that you can use. One of my favorites goes like this. Let's get the rhythm of our heads. Let's get the rhythm of our heads. Let's get the rhythm of our heads. Oh, dread, let's get the rhythm of our heads and they can learn the rhythm of their shoulders, big boulders, or of their knees, if you please, or of their feet. How neat. You know, I still remember my grandma teaching me there were 10 in the bed, and my grandpa taught us all old Dan Tucker. I taught my boys little bunny foo-foo. What a silly song. Music is powerful. It builds brain connections that last. At the same time, it's developing little bodies and little minds and little hearts. So sing for fun, sing for learning, and sing because you love them. Thanks for watching.